Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Today we are going to be doing a day in the life vlog. It is going to take, uh, it's going to go over the span of two days because I want to show you, and I made this the other day, and it's so freaking good. And I think I also vlogged a couple of other things too. But usually these vlogs will take place on Friday so y'all can come see what I do on Fridays. And I'm gonna go ahead and shoot on over to the protein pudding that I made. It is delicious and we are calling it Thin Mint Protein Pudding. So let's go ahead and get on over to a few days. Let's go back in the past a few days and let's go ahead and get on to making this delicious, delicious. If you like chocolate and mint together, oh girl, you're gonna love this. Thin mint protein pudding. We should do a shamrock one too. Cause you know, a shamrock shake is probably out right now. Cause yeah, hmm. I gotta work on that one. All right, let's get back to the, let's get to the footage. Protein puddings have been such a huge help for me. They're high volume, fairly low in calories, depending on what you add to them. Cause I like, your girl likes to add some stuff like toppings, oh, so good. You can half it, you can eat the whole thing as is, and it's gonna be higher in calories, higher in protein. Yes, it is, okay. Or you can half it, and the toppings that we're gonna do, just put it on half of the pudding, or however you wanna do it. And then do the calculations, divide it in half, or you can divide it in four, however you wanna do it. I am just giving you the base. And on this base, you can build upon and create so many different concoctions, combinations. So I'm gonna make a peppermint patty. I don't know what we're calling it yet. So give me a minute while I go gather the ingredients and then we'll think about the title too. But it's gonna be pepperminty and it's gonna be chocolate and it's gonna be good because I love a good peppermint chocolate combo moment. So give me a minute. This is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a Premier Protein Winter Mint Chocolate. Shoot. If y'all have not tried these, they are amazing. I hate the fact that they're limited edition because I, oh my gosh, they're so freaking good. So 160 calories, 30 grams of protein. Then to that, I'm going to add in 20 grams of this pudding, which is sugar-free. Make sure it's instant. It has to be instant or it will not set up. And this is going to add in 60 calories, okay? So these two. And then you don't necessarily need this. I found this at, I don't know where this was. It was either Marshall's, TJ, it was either TJ, it wasn't Ross. So it was, it was Home Goods, Home Goods. I found this at Home Goods. Um, let's see, peppermint bark. So I'm gonna do like a little splash or two, maybe like a cap full or two because my splashes can get a little intense. This smells incredible, but it is the peppermint bark. You can get this on skinny syrup, skinnymix.com. I'll link it down below. I'll link everything down below. And then, these babies because you can't find these in store by the way you have to get them walmart online sells them but you can't they don't sell them in store they will ship it to you and then this i'm not sure if you can still find this because this was a limited edition holiday thing but you could get and this is what i'm going to do once these are gone is to get those little thin mint cookies you don't have to get the actual thin mints but keebler makes them great value makes them Get the little thin mint kind of cookies and you can just cut those up. Those are gonna go on top. You could also put them in the pudding, but I just think of like things getting kind of soggy. So I don't really love that. But in one of these squares, I believe it's 70 additional calories that you're going to add. And this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take your blender cup. You're gonna take your Premier Protein and just put it in the cup. This is seriously so good. This is one of their best flavors. So I'm gonna do two capfuls. Uh, hold on, see how strong that smells? Yeah, I like my stuff pe pepperminty though. Pepperminty though, I love peppermint. If you don't have a scale, put about two tablespoons 
of this chocolate sugar-free pudding. I weigh it out because a serving is, a serving says it's about fourth of a pack and then it says 10 grams. So I like to weigh my stuff out. So I'm gonna do 20 grams of this chocolate pudding mix right down into the mix. I'm actually, whoa, okay. I was gonna say, I'm actually just gonna add the rest of it. Now from here, all I will do is put the top on, shake it in your hand for a little bit, maybe like 30 seconds. I have a bowl right here. I also have like a longer bowl that's shorter. I kind of like this kind of bowl because I feel like I don't have to use as much whipped cream. And I also feel like I don't have to use as many toppings because it's smaller, you know? You know what I mean? Like the illusion. So I like the taller, smaller bowls better than the longer, shorter bowls. So I'm gonna give it a little taste test. Oh my gosh. If you like peppermint and chocolate, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. If you like peppermint and chocolate, you're gonna freaking love this. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour it into this container and all you do is put it in the fridge and it's gonna set within like an hour or two. Okay, so in one of these squares, it's 56.67 calories according to my Alela thing. Um, I could add one of these in the mix. I wouldn't wanna do it with the blender. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take one of these, which is the mint cookie. Now, Ghirardelli does have a mint, kind of like a peppermint patty type thing. I also have some peppermint patties in the refrigerator, but we're gonna, I'm gonna do a peppermint patty one too. So if you wanna wait for that, you can. If not, and you cannot find these ones, or if you don't wanna do the little thin mint cookies, then get the, the Ghirardelli one with the ooey gooey middle. That's like a peppermint patty, and you could do that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix this. I'm gonna cut this up, and I'm gonna fold it into the pudding. So I'm gonna have two of these because I'm also gonna cut one up for the top as well. So I'm just gonna cut it. And I don't know if you can see like the little cookie bits in there. These are so good. So, so, so good. Do you know what else I like? The Lindor truffle ones, the ones that they come out with in the holidays. The, uh, I think it's called mint cookie or I don't know what it's called, but it is so freaking good. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut this as small as I can get it. This is gonna be good. I know it's gonna be so good. Cut it as small or as big as you want. And then add it to your pudding. Sorry, there's like maintenance out there. It's cleaning. I'm just gonna fold it. And in that, and you take bites here and there, you're gonna get that deliciousness. Oh, that's gonna be so good, y'all. So all you do now is just put the top on. This will be ready in like an hour or two and it will be nice and set up. Okay, y'all, I'm about to complete the pudding. This is what the pudding looks like. So see, it is solid, delish. See, I think those are like little candy right there maybe. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it on i am so excited to try this by the way put it on the scale and i'm gonna take this is the ready whip that i buy hold on this is the ready whip that i buy five calories and five grams you need this okay and it's really freaking good too i can't tell a difference between this and regular ready ready whip okay so we're just gonna do 30 on this one so can't go crazy i usually do 60 but since I'm using the candy. Oh, see, guys, I was, I wasn't paying attention. I gotta go change my, it's no, it's no big deal. I did 35 grams, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm also going to take one of these candies. Again, if you can't find these candies, which I don't think they have them out anymore, but like Amazon might have some, I don't know. But if they don't, then just get, the little Thin Mints. I bet that is like actually better than this candy. Like I'm not gonna lie. Get a get a Thin Mint or two. Ooh, girl, that's gonna be so good. Ooh, 
So what I'm going to do is, as you can see, got that. Can you see? I'm sorry. I don't need this scale anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the graham cracker little bears and just kind of sprinkle them over top of that whipped cream. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this chocolate on this board. I really wanna kinda like, wanna try to make it pretty. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be so good. I already know it, it's gonna be so good. I need y'all to look at this real quick. Look at this deliciousness. I'm gonna put the macros for this entire thing with the chocolate, the ready whip, the little bears, all of it. You choose if you wanna do this whole, if you wanna do it in half, if you wanna do it in fourths. No judgment, okay? So no judgment in the comments from any of you because there's no judgment from me. So we're gonna go ahead and taste this. It looks insanely delicious. Okay, so. Okay. Bon appetit. Mm. I swear to you, every time I make a new flavor, I'm like, this is my new flavor. This is my new favorite. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm calling, I was calling this mint cookie. Now I think I need to call this thin mint protein pudding. Mm. Bon appetit. Again, I will see y'all on Friday. Happy Friday, you guys. So, on the agenda today, I'm gonna make a chicken salad for you guys that is delicious. It's like a loaded, loaded baked potato chicken salad. Like everything that you would put on a loaded baked potato, it's in here except for the butter. Um, so freaking good. I am gonna make that today. So I've gotta to go to Target to get the canned chicken because I ran out of canned chicken because it was so good, I used it all up. And then I have to bring my lunch to my baby girl because she forgot it here. <laughs> so we gotta do that. There was something else I wanna get at Target too, I can't remember. But yeah, that's on the agenda. So let's go, let's get in the car. I put on some makeup today. I feel good, my hair looks kinda of crazy in the back, but I don't really care, you know? because I think it looks really good like right here, how it, how it, I just literally, and this is how it always works for me. I will just throw it up before I get in the shower and then it's like, usually that's when it comes out looking the best when I'm not trying to like actually pull it back. So I was like, this morning I was like, you know what? I'm leaving it even though it looks kind of crazy. I don't know what it actually looks like in the back bag, but it looks crazy this way, but it's fine, I like the way that this looks, so that doesn't matter. <laughs> but yeah, I put on my makeup today. Looking good, feeling good. Today is day 12, right? It's day 12, I've already did that. I already exited out for um, my TikTok. I usually do that in the morning because I already know I'm gonna complete it. So it is what it is, so yeah. But yeah, today is day freaking 12. We're gonna go ahead and get out of this house. It is 921. I gotta put on my Apple Watch because I've got it charging. And I have my, I have mine. I sent it off to get it fixed because I had a warranty on it because it was all messed up. So I'm using my daughter's and hers does not hold battery to save it's life. She doesn't use her Apple Watch like I use my Apple Watch. She just really uses it at school for the time. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait to get mine back. They told me that they received it yesterday. So hopefully they'll get to working on it and get it back to me. But anyways, stop talking. Let's get on over to Target. Drop my baby girl off her lunch. And we'll see what we get into today. Okay, so I dropped off my baby girl's lunch to her, and now they have half day today, but both of them are going to be gone after boards, so <laughs> it'll be like they have a full day. Uh, Kentrell's going to go hang out with his friends, and then Ava, when she gets home, she's going straight to 
one of the neighbors, like someone that lives in the apartment complex. Um, I don't know what the heck I was trying to say, but it feels freaking amazing outside today. It says it's 57, but I feel like it's warmer than that. Like, it just feels good to be out in a tank top. I've got my capris on. Ugh, it just feels so freaking good out here. The sun, it's all wet because I, I heard it raining and I was like, please, please, please don't tell me it's going to be raining tomorrow because we have had so much rain this winter and I'm over it. That has really been playing into my depression too because it's cold, it's rainy, there's no sun. Um, so that's really been messing with me. I do not like every couple of years we will have a really rainy winter and I hate it because I'm so depressed. But so yeah, anyways, I was like, no, when I heard it raining this morning, when I got up to go to the bathroom and then this morning, this morning when I woke up, I was like, the sun is out. I checked the weather and I was like, oh, thank God it's not supposed to rain today. So it just rained through the night, but it's beautiful out here. So pretty. Love it. Just love, love, love. So I'm like, I might, instead of getting in the gym, just do another work, another outdoor walk because it feels so good it just depends on how I feel and how my knee is feeling because y'all let me tell you I went on Monday I met up with a subscriber friend of mine and we went walking on a greenway and we were just going to do 30 minutes and I and then but I was feeling so good and it went by so fast because you know normally I work out alone and I was like girl how much longer is this greenway and she told me she was like it's not like that that much longer um so we went the whole way and to go and then come back it was like an hour and 15 minutes so this is this is a big reason why I don't like and this is when I really start to feel how much I weigh is when I do a workout like that and it was just a simple freaking walk it killed my left my whole entire left leg from my knee up was just in so much pain and it's something I've never experienced before until getting over 300 pounds um you know your feet start to hurt really bad there's like all these things which is a big reason why I've been considering weight loss surgery which I need to get with my insurance I just I, I don't know if my insurance would even cover it and be in the first place so before I even keep thinking about it but I have been talking about it, researching it. I've talked about it on my other channel. I'm going back and forth. Um, I would like to, if I were going to do something, I would do the sleeve, I guess, because the bypass is like the more intense one. I just don't know. I just don't know. There's a lot of things that scare me about it and whatnot. I've been praying on it and praying about it, uh, just waiting to hear. Um, to feel like this is the thing for me but anyways that's a big reason why I've been thinking about the weight loss surgery is so that the weight can come off rapidly and I will be thin in like six months I won't be thin in six months but I will have so much of this pressure off of my joints off of me um, which obviously I'm gonna keep on keep on keep on keep on working out and stuff but yeah like my whole entire from my leg or from my knee up has been killing me this entire week and then I started feeling a little bit better on I think it was Wednesday and then I started dancing and I heard it again so today I have this little knee brace thingy on which I don't really know if it does anything to it when it's feeling the way that it's feeling today but it was a simple walk and after a simple walk my back was killing me my feet were killing me my my leg um so yeah that's that's a big reason to why I cannot stand being this this overweight is because you know obviously it messes with like my stamina and the things I physically cannot do I hate when my glasses do this my makeup looks so freaking good today like oh my gosh I did that girl girl you did that anyways let's get into Target stop babbling and running my mouth let's get into Target it's I'm I'm warm I'm warm I love it uh get this canned chicken and get back home to 
be all alone and do nothing. <laughs> uh, I got stuff to do today. I got stuff to do today. There's another one. Okay, so leaving Target, I got chicken and rice, and I am walking. First of all, I parked like way far away from Target, but now I'm walking over to the Dollar Tree because Tuesday is Valentine's Day. And I gotta get my baby as a card. And I don't know, can y'all said no candy, so I don't know what the heck I'm gonna get him. Maybe just the card. <laughs> Cause mama ain't got um what's it called? Gift card money right now. So anyways, I'm walking over here. And it feels so beautiful out here today. Look at me on sweating. <sighs> Welcome to my world. and I currently have so I thought that's what I had when I was in there yeah 4,671 steps um it is beautiful it's beautiful outside today I thoroughly enjoyed walking to the Dollar Tree and then walking back to my car not that it was like a super long walk but I don't know um I got my kiddos some balloons Cards. They had way more. This, why is this? Do people not buy their sons Valentine's Day cards? They had way more cards for daughters than they did for sons. I was like, why? Why is this? Why? Um. So, anyways, I just got them cards, a little thing, a bag, and then I got them each one of these. I'll show y'all when I get home. I'll, I'll make the little bags with y'all. Okay, y'all. This is what we got. Bagged rice for sushi bowls. Yes. Oh, I like it. The most. I don't think I have any more of it. Hold on. I don't. Wait, is this it? No. Okay. <clears throat> there is this, wait, is this it? No, this is just like, this is it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I found it. Okay, so you know I've been talking about high volume, lower calories. So I still like my rice, okay? In my sushi bowl. I haven't had a burrito bowl in a really long time, but I used to do this with burrito bowls too. So what I will do is I will take like maybe like 80 grams, 70 grams, just basically however I need my macros to go for the day. So I will take this bagged rice, stick it in the microwave for 90 seconds, warm it up, and use only a little bit of it. Like maybe like 100 calories worth of it, maybe even less than that. And then I will take this. This is so good. Especially with a sushi bowl. Girl. A girl they're so good I don't have cucumber either what I will do and I'll make this I'll put this and then a bunch of this and then I'll do crab avocado yum yum sauce lower sodium soy sauce sesame seeds so good cucumber did I mention that oh my gosh it's so good but this mixture right here it's the green giant Riced veggies, cauliflower medley, and it has no seasoning or anything. But the onion, I forgot the green onion, that's what I wanted for my. I'm just gonna have to add red onion for my chicken salad that I'm gonna make for y'all today. But, um, this just has cauliflower, green peas, onion, carrots, and green onion. And that green onion 
adds so much flavor, but it's not an overwhelming onion flavor. This just has so much flavor. And it's still for half a cup prepared, it's 25 calories. So you can eat this whole entire bag for 75 calories. That's a lot of food. It's a lot of food. And if you're counting your carbs, 5, 10, 15, 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6, 15 minus 6 is 15, 14, 30, 12, 11, 10, 9. So it would be 9 net carbs for this whole entire bag. 2, 4, 6 grams of protein. So, yeah, that's what I do. High volume. And these, this is so good. It's so, so, so good. Like, it is the elite. Elite. It is the goat of all cauliflower rice because it has so much flavor. So, anyways, I got two of these jasmine rice 90-second bags. And then I got three cans of these chicken. Of, uh, I got three cans of chicken. I want to know something. Why? Why, why, why do some of these cans of chicken have like 20 grams of protein? And this one, this one in particular has 16 grams of protein, which I guess it's like, okay, 16 grams of protein. But if that's what I'm having for lunch, I'd rather have, I, I like to have like 20, 30, 40 grams of protein for lunch. So I didn't love that about this one. I usually get the Walmart one, but I didn't, I could have just, I should have just went to Walmart honestly, but anyways, I got three cans of that. That's my son right there. I'm on the bus, you're on the bus. Oh, okay, well I better, girl, I better get this together quick. Okay, so this is what I got. I'm on the bus, he's coming home. Maybe we'll go to the gym together. Maybe we'll go to like actual gym, like the Y. So I got these little bags. They're not super valentine -y, but whatever. These are my butterflies. Is this my sign? Because I didn't even realize they were butterflies. And I was just praying in the car and I was like, Lord, am I gonna get my sign? I prayed for something and I asked for God to send me a sign and it was butterflies. But I'm not, I'm not like, Lord, I'm like, I'm not clear cut that this is a sign because I picked this up. But I didn't even realize they were butterflies, so this is my sign. Okay, I need a moment. I need to hurry up. I didn't even know that they were butterflies. That's crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna take a bag, open it, take another bag and open it. Maybe I should frame it. I'm like literally like almost shaking right now. Um, the kids like these. I have to show y'all what Ava did for her friends. My kids have the kindest, biggest, most beautiful hearts out of anyone I've ever met in my entire life. Uh, they also liked this because she got some for her friends. So they've already tried this, they love it. So down in the bag that's going for Ava. And then I will just fill out Ava's card. So I got Ava's card, y'all wanna read it? Or y'all wanna know what it says? It has a little puppy on it. Their selection of cards wasn't that great. I always know, like, I'm like, okay, if I cry or if I start tearing up whenever I read a card, like that is the card. None of them did that for me, so I was just like, well, I mean, I read like all of them that I found for daughter and all of them that I found for son. So anyways, it says, a daughter like you brings never ending happiness. So grateful for you in all the ways you make the world a much better, much more wonderful place to be. Happy Valentine's Day. And then I always write them a note. So down in the bag, that's gonna go. And then this one I got for Ava. So this one is Ava's little bag. Oh, I should have got some ribbon to tie it around. I did see that ribbon. I'm like still stuck on, is this my sign? God, is this my sign? <sighs> All right, this one's for control. I got the I love you. His, his, oh shit, okay, okay. He's still at school. I have like life 360. That's what it tells me, okay. I got time, okay. His card says, a wonderful sun changes your life in ways you never expected. Brightens your world in ways you never dreamed. For all the days you filled, you filled with love and made special just by being you. The wish, this wishes you a very happy Valentine's Day. See, it's like, oh, that's sweet, but it's not like, you know. Anyways, um, okay. So then for him, I got him a little bear. They like the white chocolate ones. And then 
the little peanut butter hearts. They said that these were really good and that these tasted like Reese's. Reese, is it Reese's? Re, re, Reese's? Reese's. Is that what it is? Reese's? Reese's instead of Reese's? Reese's. Reese, Reese, see I used to, I, I'm in Buffalo, Reese's Pieces were our thing. Uh, we, we had those, we would be in church, my brothers. We'd be eating, oh, Reese's, pie, Reese's Pieces, Reese's Pieces, Reese's, Reese's Pieces, Reese's Pieces, Reese's Pieces, Reese's Pieces. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know, Reese's, 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 Reese's Pieces, Reese's Pieces. Ah, oh, I see it now. Reese's Pieces. Okay. All right, word police. All right. Thanks for coming for me. That was on my TikTok. Um, and then, anyways, this is his little bag. This would be cute with some ribbon. I don't want to go there. It's, been, I don't, it's unnecessary money to spend. So, yeah, this is their little Valentine's Day. It's a little, they're used to getting a lot more. I, I usually do and can do a lot more for them. But it's okay. It's okay. Um, this year's starting out, but it's not gonna be like this forever, it's not. I feel big things coming for me, I really, really, really do. Um, so yeah, I still, I need to go pray on this. I need to go pray on this. That's crazy. I didn't go hide these in my closet. So, I will see y'all when it's lunchtime. I'm gonna see if my son wants to go ahead and go, and I can knock out this, uh, oh, he's doing legs today. I don't know if my knee can take legs. I might do arms. I can't dance, so I'll probably just do arms, but I'm gonna see if he wants to knock out that workout. I'll see y'all at lunchtime. Or if he wants to go work out, then we'll go work out and I'll see y'all at the gym. Okay, so this is the video that I'm doing. Hold on, let me pause it. It's complete upper body. Oh no. Okay. Complete upper body workout, arms, back, chest, beginner. That's what I'm about to do. I would, I would be dancing. No, I would be dancing, but my knee hurts. So I need to do this anyways, because I was supposed to do legs, but again, my knee hurts. So arms it is, and then get, probably do four pounds and get to it. chicken salad it is delicious it's like a loaded chicken salad so good i got this inspiration from someone on tiktok her name is tanya her username is taking my life back at 42 go follow her she is so inspiring and she is so amazing and her recipes are so delish so what i've done so far is i've made some chips not meaning to <laughs> I, I like my bread toasted. This is the Joseph's pita bread. So if you are doing, I think this is low carb. 
It's only 60 calories for this whole entire pita, which is insane. And 10, 9, 8, 7, so yeah, so six, six net carbs and six grams of protein. So that's what we're doing. Into this bowl, I have my whole entire can of chicken, which I'm gonna put the macros, so carbs, fat, calories, and protein in this whole entire sandwich on the screen eventually. But like I said, this can has 16 grams of protein in it. I would definitely, the Walmart one, the Walmart brand, theirs has like 23 grams of protein in it. So I would definitely do that one if you can. But anyways, into the bowl is the chicken. I have this little tiny bit of red onion that I cut like really finely. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the chicken as well. And then I'm gonna take some of this reduced fat Fiesta blend. I get this from Walmart, 80, 80 calories and a third of a cup, which is 28 grams. So I'm adding 28 grams down into the mix. If I had green onion, I would have did, I would have done green onion versus purple or red onion, purple onion, whatever. But all I have is red onion, so that's what I use. But I do like the onion flavor in this. So 28 grams of this cheese. And then Duke's like, don't fight me on this. Duke's mayonnaise is the best mayonnaise, okay? Don't fight me on this. It is the best. So I'm gonna take 15 grams of Duke's light mayonnaise and add that into the mix. Or I add 18 grams. <laughs> I added 18, it's fine, but 15 grams is a serving. Uh, this right here, Daisy sour cream. You can do light sour cream. I love sour cream. Full fat is just, it's the best. And it, it has five grams of fat. So for me, I always say pick and choose. Pick and choose your battles. Like what can you not do without? What do you like? What do you not? I personally love the taste of full fat. Cottage cheese, that, that was in my head. I don't know why, but full fat cottage cheese. I also like full fat sour cream. So you could, if you like yours less creamy, then just do half of a serving, which would be 15 grams, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the full serving, which is 30 grams. So in my macro breakdown, it's gonna have the full serving. So the full 60 calories, the full five grams of fat, the full gram of carb, and the full gram of protein. So 30 grams down into the mix. You can add like salt and pepper to this if you want. I'm gonna go get some pepper and I'm gonna get the salt just in case, but we are about to add bacon to this and you know bacon is pretty salty on its own. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add pepper. You could add garlic to this too. Oh, onion trying to escape. So two pieces of bacon. This is like pre-cooked bacon that I just put in the microwave. I love this stuff. It's so good and it's so convenient. So I'm just, I just, oh, I just crunched up myself. You just crunched up yourself? <laughs> I said I just crunch it up myself. I, heard I just crunched up myself. <laughs> no, I, well, I break it apart myself. Like you could totally cut this if you wanted to, but I just kind of like, I just break it because I like the bigger slices. Now you could also do bacon bits in the bag if you wanna do that, but I personally like the flavor of actual cooked bacon, so I'm gonna use bacon. So you just put that down in. Now I need to go get me a, uh, what's it called? A fork, cause that's everything. It's really simple ingredients, but the flavor of this is so, freaking delicious so take that off just mix 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 stop trying to come out and there you go this is what it looks like mm, it's so freaking good i know it doesn't look good let me tell you do low carb bam eat this or like where you're like eating like no carbs at all 
or very little carbs, eat it just like this. You could do crackers, you could do a wrap, you do whatever. However, I love stuff like this because it's so versatile. But me, again, low battery, I'm using the Joseph pita bread, so I'm just, I just stuff it on in there. I like a little crunch. I love textures, like different textures. So that's why I toast mine. So there you go. Loaded chicken salad. So delish. So yummy. So flavorful. This one, this one was a little less crunchy when I took it out. I don't think I'm going to be able to fill it. I think I might have to do this like as a as a dipper but either way it's still really freaking delicious here we go just kind of throw it in there and the macros are up on the screen again they're not bad at all and it's so freaking delicious and flavorful and yummy i hope that you guys enjoy so yeah i'm gonna go eat lunch i will see y'all I should have like I should cut up uh this this needs to go I should cut up an orange or something but I will see y'all later I got both workouts in I'm so like I am all I gotta do is listen to my audiobook and I gotta read 10 pages and that's it so I also gotta figure out what we're having for dinner so y'all it's so pretty out here that we are walking by the way they're both home as you can see but it's so pretty out here we had to come back and go for another walk. And I parked like all the way over on the other side of the shopping plaza. So I am getting my steps in today. And my knees kind of hurt a little bit, it's starting to. But it's going good. <laughs> but anyways, they had some really cute Valentine stuff. What did I see? Oh, the big gummy. Oh yeah, what did I say? There was a big gummy. Um, you're my everything or something. It was like a everything but the bagel, bagel uh, gummy. It was a massive gummy. I wonder if it would taste like a normal gummy or be like one of them weird No, I don't. I think it would taste like a normal no, gummy. Like I say that, but like Kraft's mac and cheese made like a mac and cheese flavored gummy. It's gross. Oh, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. In no way. Anyways. I'm going to get my 10,000 steps in today. Even though that wasn't a goal of mine, it just, like I said, it feels literally, it feels so good out here today. So we're getting our steps in and it feels so good. Hey y'all, so it's 3.09 and listen, I have 8,580 steps today. Yeah. Usually Ava's not even home by now. Contrell's home, but not her. So. Anyways, Ava's friend, she wasn't able to do what she had to do, but she's gonna do it later tonight, and then Contrell's gonna do it. Y'all are doing it on Sunday, right? Okay. Your thing, postponing yeah. what y'all were doing today. Yeah. So I get them, and I, we were spending time together. I'm gonna take a little rest. I'm gonna um, read 10 pages of my book. I probably read 10 more. This is a really, really good book. Y'all, how long is too long for a vlog? Because I could legit make an hour long vlog. So let me know if an hour long is too long. Now I do weekly vlogs on Miss Green Eyes and Miss Green Eyes will straight up be an hour. And I know my viewers love it. So let me know how much is too much for a weekly, or no, a day in the life vlog. Cause I don't know, I might have to cut a lot of this up, but I don't want to. So yeah. I will see you guys when we go up to the office to make some chocolate covered Oreos, chocolate covered cherries, chocolate covered strawberries for Valentine's Day. We're excited. We also have something to do on Valentine's Day too. What was it? Flowers? Yeah, I think so. I think we're gonna do like flower floral bouquet, bouquet. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure you go subscribe. Look at my shoulders, by the way. They're looking good. They are so sore, but um, Valentine's Day. If you want to see that, then go subscribe to my main channel, Miss Green Eyes. So I will see you guys later on. Oh,
another one. While you're out bumping and grinding, but I'm leaving you tonight. See, my days are cold without you, but I'm hurting while I'm with you. And though my heart can't take no more, I can't keep running back to you. You must be used to me crying. Here's mine. I'm not gonna open mine, I don't think. Can you guys see? I think I showed y'all. Mine is the one with all the sprinkles. I don't think, y'all, did you do sprinkles? I know Control didn't do sprinkles, so yeah, they didn't do sprinkles. But I don't wanna open mine, cause look how pretty it is. Right? All right, y'all, I had such a good day. Thank you for being here with me. Let me know. I'm going to keep a lot of this footage in. I know I have probably like an hour and a half of footage. I won't make it an hour and a half long video. But make sure you let me know in the comments down below how long is too long. Because like I said, I will do it. I know it's different because it's a weekly vlog. So maybe you don't want to see the same, same thing for an hour. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. But um, I had to show you guys this. Because I'm very proud. It was very active. Very active. And I'm just excited in general. I'm excited about this channel again, which makes me so happy. Um, my TikTok is growing. Like, I kind of have, like, a somewhat viral video. I mean, it's viral for me. I think I've gotten... I've got anywhere between two to 5,000 followers in just, like, a few days. I have one video that has 266,000 views on it. Ava! And another one has 45,000 views. Okay, so anyways, that was Ava's friends. Um, but yeah, my TikTok is growing. It's really exciting to see. Like, I just posted a video and it already has 1,400 views on it. And I'm just like... Day 11 went like this. What? Sorry, the day Picture. Like it's just really it's really exciting. It's really exciting because you know you work so hard and and I don't know. I saw my sign today. I will share what the sign is eventually, like what it was for, my prayer. But that makes me really happy too. I I it just makes me really happy. It is really awesome. So, anyways, I had to show you real quick. I'm gonna close out. I'm about to make some dinner. Let me show you what I'm gonna make for dinner. Um, this can be super easy and simple because your girl's not cooking tonight. And yes, it's loaded with sodium because it's coming out of the freezer and it's coming out of a package and no, I don't care, okay? Anyways, I'm either going to have this rotini marinara, which has 22 grams of protein in this whole container and it's only 420 calories. And no, it's not, it's really not a whole lot. It's really not. Because I had one last night, and what I ended up doing was bulking it up with some broccoli. So I made some broccoli, and I just combined it all together. But I'm going to have that, and then I'm also going to have one of these turkey cheddar smoked sausages. These are so freaking delicious. So I'm either going to have that, or I'm going to have this. I don't know. Because this one is 290 calories. and This one's only 9 grams of protein, though. So I don't know, but this one is garlic, butter, rotini, and vegetables, and it's like sauced. I think I'm going to do, it's sauced. I think I'm going to do this one maybe tomorrow for lunch or something. I don't know, because I guess I'll just have to see where my macros are at right now. But anyways, I love you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day snuck up on me because the kids were talking about it, and I was like, huh? But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I wanted to tell, I wanted to show y'all this. My steps for today, I killed it. And I'm not even done, you know. I still gotta go take off my makeup, do all these other things, cook, this and that, this and that. Um, 
I got in 10,899 steps. Like when I tell y'all, like I am on fire. I am on fire. I did not want to gain that weight during COVID. Like I had literally gotten to a point where I was just like, I don't care anymore. I'm going to eat. And I also literally never left the couch unless I was going to the bathroom. That was it. And then to the bed when I was going to sleep. But you go from 8,000 at 8,000 steps to 800 steps, you're going to gain weight regardless of if you picked up your, your food consumption or not. And I definitely picked it up. So I'm not mad about it, but I'm mad at the fact that I'm just, I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm behind and I got to get back where I was. So I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm killing it. Monday, I got in 14,655 steps. Tuesday, I got in 8,551 steps. Wednesday, I got in 8,489 steps. Yesterday, I wasn't as active, but I still got in 5,872 steps. And today, so far, again, it's 623. The day's not over. I have, so far, 10,899 steps. Bam! Killed it this week. Killing it. Killing it. And I've been incorporating toning stuff and i'm not just dancing i'm not just doing cardio oh anyways i can talk to y'all forever let me stop running my mouth i love you have an amazing day happy valentine's day let me know in the comments down below what you did for valentine's day i just got a shirt from shein which i think i'm gonna wear on valentine's day so i'm excited for that but anyways love you guys have an amazing day and i will see you on wednesday with our weigh-in hopefully it's a good one fingers crossed all right guys bye